Off to Stratford next end for the Stratford Novices Chase. This is a three mile one furl Novice Chase, and wouldn't it be good for Leon Van Rensburg? Well, last week is at the top. A Castanel is for Darren Thompson, art teacher Leon Van Rensburg. Come on, Blue Chips, Stu Gray, Dawn Ranger, David Robertson, Impressive Spirit, Jim Murray, James Bond, David Hoody, Jinka Trail, Martin, then Runner Empty, Craig Allen, What a Sunrise, Craig Beckwith, Chili Bang Certain, Thomas Rogers, Dawn of Lust, Joshua Sutherland, Inuit Symbol, Ben Benici, Liberty Bell, Jim Murray, October Cat, Graham Clutterbuck, Ozark Slide, Vinnie Gerard, Selections, Craig Allen, Tim Oka, Shoe, James Shea, and Viking Scene for John Morgan. So, big field of 19 then, and away they go. Short run to the first. And they're all safely over it. We'll get the Viking scene. The pale jacketed John Morgan horse. Not to dispute the lead with A Caster Malbus. Those two are in a bit of a battle for the lead with Inuit Symbol just tucked in behind them in third. And a gap to the remainder are headed by the Jim Murray pair. Liberty Bell and Impressive Spirit as they get to the second. Oh, and Inuit Symbol has gone straight through that and crashed out of the race. So bad luck to Ben Bonici. There's that one's. Ebbed as they come up past the stand. Two more circuits of this Warwickshire track to go. Let's try for on Avon. Just a few miles away from my current base, and the River Avon actually flows right round the back of where I live. You can actually see it from my kitchen window. Anyway, the Viking scene in the lead. From Acast and Malbus as they get over number three. We'll safely over that one then. With Viking Sea having won the battle to lead, and it's now a good three lengths clear. Acast and Malbus in second, Liberty Bell is third, and then James Bond is fourth. Then comes Impressive Spirit, and wouldn't it be good? With Run on Empty and October Cat, and then Chili Bang Certain and Dawn of Lust as they get to number four. And two untidy jumps there. And the back door and Ranger wasn't too clever, and one of Leon Van Rensburg's horses wasn't too clever. Rather hard to so he got one in this as they get over the next. And we'll save for the over that one then. And we have the Viking scene clear in the lead to A Caster Malvis in second, and Liberty Bell third. Stable mate Impressive Spirit is fourth. Then comes Dawn of Lost and James Bond. Runner on him, she just tucked in behind them as we. A different angle in fact Leon Van Rinsburg has got two because he's got wouldn't it be good as well but I'm pretty sure it was our teacher that made the mistake a couple of fences ago the Viking scene is definitely the only John Morgan in the race they get down to number six and we'll stream over that one nice though Jink oh there's a four on the Jink a trail made a mistake and what a sunrise was a four I think it was more of an unseated rider because he appeared so they all jumped the fence pretty well and they get down to this ditch as they Get over that. Another one's down there, and it's Chili Bank Certain this time. So, Chili Bank Certain, and what a surprise have gone in the last two. Jinka Trail made a bit of a hash of it as they come down to number eight. This is the midway point in the jumping. And that time, it was the first of the Craig Allen horses that made the mistake. Run on empty. But they're getting quite strong out of this field. And as the Viking scene sets the stiff pace to Acaster Malbis, who's about a length there in second. The ninth fence they go, and oh, the John Morgan horse took a lunge at that, which caught a few of his do, and was down on its nose, but got away with it. So Viking scene, Acaster Malbis now being joined by Dawn of Lust, as they come up past the winning post, with a complete circuit to go. All well, the race goers are here, stayed on after yesterday's dragon race, which was an annual event up the, up the river. All the boats dressed up as dragons and they have a race up the, up the river. It was cancelled last year because of the COVID, but it was back this week. And over it we go. All safely out, including Jinka Trail towards the back. And Viking Scene is in the lead from Acaster Malbis second, Dawn of Lust is third, and Liberty Bell is fourth. Then comes Impressive Spirit and James Bond, or wouldn't it be good? Then comes Art Teacher, uh, come on Blue Chip, we're on empties after that one. Then Dawn Ranger and October Cat and Selections as they get over number 11. Which they're all safely over, including Jinka Trail, who's beginning to tail off. 
Oh, the leader's gone this time. Viking scene, he took a bit of a liberty a couple of fences ago, and this time he did it again but paid the price and crashes out of the race. And that's left Dawn of Lust in the lead. So Dawn of Lust then. Acaster Malbis on the outside second, then the Jim Murray pair who've been poised behind the lead all the way. And they're being trapped by the Leon Van Rensburg pair, so we could get some team running here, otherwise things are going. But Dawn of Lust, the sole Joshua Sutherland runner is in the lead. From Impressive Spirit, wouldn't it be good? Acaster Malbis, Liberty Bell, and Art Teacher and James Bond as they get over the 13th. And they're all safely over that one, including Jinka Trail at the back. And Dawn of Lust is being joined by Impressive Spirit. And then comes Wouldn't It Be Good. And Dawn Ranger. It's a good move round the outside, jumps over that ditch. And Dawn Ranger's gone on, Jinka Trail tailed off. It's Dawn Ranger who's shot into the lead with two to jump. Dawn Ranger from Impressive Spirit in second. Wouldn't it be good? Back in third. Over the second last they go. A good jump by the leader, Dawn Ranger, but Impressive Spirit's got the rail. Back in third is Wouldn't It Be Good? Ozark slides come through from nowhere. Dawn of Lost is now beaten. James Bond's trying to run on, but it's Dawn Ranger who's in front. Dawn Ranger leads by two and a half lengths to Impressive Spirit in second. Wouldn't it be good is third? This is the final fence. And over it goes a little bit of better jump by Impressive Spirit, who's now coming through the challenge and has taken it up. It's Impressive Spirit. It's going away now from Dawn Ranger, who's got nothing left. Wouldn't it be good? He's trying to run on. There's still half a full to go. And Impressive Spirit looks like it's going to be another one for Jim Murray. Wouldn't it be good? He's chasing hard, but isn't going to get close enough. Dawn of Lust has got a second win in third as well. But at the line, it's Impressive Spirit. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be good? Second Dawn of Lust then, Dawn Ranger, Liberty Ranger and Selections and all the way back to Acaster Malbis who ended up last I think. So the stiff pace caught a few out there. And I think I might have got me Dawn's mixed up towards the end as well. So impressive spirit takes it for Jim Murray. Wouldn't it be good for Leon Van Rensburg was second. Dawn of Lust for Joshua Sutherland was third. Dawn Ranger for David Robertson was fourth. And Liberty Bell was fifth.